Usually, Jesus responds to a request from someone. If they have a plea or a prayer, they want to be cured or healed or forgiven. Today's gospel is different because this man does not ask Jesus to cast the demon out of him. Jesus just goes ahead and does it when he sees him. Prayer is important. God wants us to pray. He wants us. He knows already what our needs are. But it's his will that we should pray for what is right and good so that he can do what is right and good. He wants us to pray. In the first reading from Samuel, we started yesterday this book, and you see that Hannah prays so deeply that Eli thinks she's drunk. And he goes to her and says, what are you doing drinking wine and liquor and being in the temple? But she's so fervently praying, um, so fervently praying that she's just, just externally not saying anything out loud, but externally she's very emotional. And of course, God knows that Samuel is going to be born and God has plans for Samuel. He's going to be a great man who will rule Israel as, a, as the last of the judges. Um, but he still wants Hannah to pray and he'll come into the world because Hannah prayed. And that's a lesson for us in our prayers of petition, even at Mass. They should be fervent and, and, and uh, they should be sincere. That we go to God, not because he doesn't know what we want, we don't, or need, and he, we go to God not because we're gonna change his mind about something. We go to God because it's will that we talk to him and pray to him. It's in that interpersonal relationship with God in prayer that Jesus wishes to ask. And so today, we, as we offer the Mass, we pray with the Lord, and, and even though he knows what we need, we pray that we be able to know and do his will. <clears throat> Let us stand and offer our prayers.